Yeah, it's pretty powerful as usual from Miss Rand. She uh, she always dug deep and said it like she saw it, didn't she? Oh, she's the master of objectification of concepts. She's like, ah. this is what it is. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, no, that's great. That's great. And I'll just do this last one then, uh, unless you had something to add to that. It's uh, nope. It's uh, explains everything very well. So you know, the last one I just had here was George Orwell, nineteen eighty four. Most people have heard of this phrase, groupthink, and uh, it's uh, something that gets inculcated into us from the nonstop media, social media, government culture comes down on us. Just as uh, the example we've been given above, and just a quick definition, right? It's a psychological phenomenon that occurs within a group of people in which the desire for harmony or conformity in the group results in an irrational or dysfunctional decision-making outcome. And I'll just say that what what's happened these past three years, uh, COVID masking and lockdowns, social distancing and babies wearing masks and kids not going to school and all the rest is uh, a more perfect example we couldn't offer. Any uh, additional comments on that, Matt? Well, I mean, just to, to make it more relatable, I mean, uh, the, the desire for harmony there is, you know, everyone was going, you know, we're all in this together, right? You know, we got to stick together through this. There's this pandemic. There's this thing out there. It's trying to get us, you know, let, let's let's make sure we all get get through this together, right? So there is that desire for harmony. And yet, the desire for harmony overrides the rational faculty. And so you've got people saying, yeah, there's a virus and I wear this mask, which has holes in it smaller than the supposed size of the virus, and it protects me from the virus. So that's a clear irrationality, right? And then you have people going... Oh yeah, they they put out a vaccine. I don't know what's in it, but the experts said that it's good and it stops it and it it will stop me from getting the virus. So I will let them inject it. Plus they say if I don't get it then I could suffer consequences. Right? So driving it is this desire for harmony, but has led to choices that just make no sense with reality. I think that's fair, Brad? Yeah, no, it when I just to give some personal examples during during COVID, at least, I can think of at least a dozen times when I went to a some sort of a retail operation and, you know, got hounded by, you know, the door checker or a clerk or a manager at there to the person telling me I needed to wear a mask and I would offer my objections. And <laughs> at least half the times this happened, the person agreed with me. I'm like, sir, I totally agree with you. I I, I think they're stupid too. But it, it, you got to do it, right? That, that, in other words, more people, I, I think at least half the people that went along with the insane rules of the this lockdown phase didn't agree with it, right? And, mm -hmm. and, and at, at the heart, they didn't agree with it, but they just went along because they, they thought there was some irrational, nonsensical, abstract benefit that uh, was going to come from it. They were, really what they were doing is they were going along to get along, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, I mean, otherwise you're going to suffer some sort of consequence. Like someone said to me, um, I just cannot believe the vile nature of someone who wouldn't get vaccinated for the sake of others. And it's like, well, okay, so that's what's waiting for you if you want to step away from the herd. Right. 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 There are a few of those. Yeah. Condemnation waiting for you. So best to stay with harmony and just make things easy and flowy and let's just get through it smoothly, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we, we paid the price for it in a big way. But that's a whole nother story for another day. Let's keep let's keep cruising here. We've got this upside downside section. Let's uh what do you uh, okay, I'll introduce it. Here. So you know, we want we want to point out that there's this herd mentality thing. We've covered what it is. We've covered what causes it. And then we want to point out there is a lot of upside to this, right? Because where we're going is we want to suggest an alternative, right? After we talk about the upside and the downside. But we want to present the upside for it to show that, you know, it, it's not an awful thing to stay with the herd mentality. There is a lot of upside. and then But then we want to talk about what the downside is. 
So we want to give you a fair perspective on the pros and the cons of this herd mentality so that when, when we introduce an alternative, you can essentially make a rational, <clears throat> you can essentially make a rational decision about where you want to go. Okay. So do you want to talk about the upside of the, uh, herd mentality, Brad? Sure. I can breeze through here that, you know, obviously we've, we've mentioned it in plenty of examples above, but you know, peer approval and validation is a huge upside. No question about it. We're, we're certainly not going to, going to, uh, uh, argue that that those aren't upsides. Uh, safety in numbers is obviously an upside, and uh, that's. Can I one. just comment on the peer approval thing? Uh, like, no, this comes in on the the level of feeling, right? Like, if you don't have peer approval and validation, you feel bad. Potentially, you don't have to feel bad, but most likely, in this present reality, you're going to feel bad if you don't have approval and validation, right? So if you what, what do you want? You know, you want to feel good, right? So say that's, that's an understandable that, reason. That, that's common. Uh, I've, I've found in, in the last 10 or 15 years of my life that not getting peer approval meant I was on the right track. 